Hello, this is PagonMC here, and welcome back to the Badge Patreon server. How's everyone doing? You alright? I have been a little bit busy since my well, last episode was Abercaven. Oh, there we go. Last episode was Abercaven with Raven. Abercaven question time. I hope everyone enjoyed that. A uh, lot of fun to do. I know it's the first time both of us have done Abba. I think it turned out alright. I was perfectly happy with it. Um, before that, I showed a little bit of me digging out down here. And I think I'd gotten up to... I think it was about here. Oh no, I dug out... Was it this little bit? Yeah, so I'd done that. I've carried on to dig out more over here. I kind of got a little bit carried away. Uh, resources, not too bad. Uh, at the moment, I've been still silk touching all of the diamond ore. I haven't turned any of that into diamonds yet. Basically, I want to see how many I get all in one massive go. Um, I have got plans for down here. It is going to be long, long, long term plans. So I do hope there won't be any... Oh, I quickly saw Iron Golem there die for a second. I wondered what it was. Um, yeah, there hasn't been any talk of a map reset, and hopefully there won't be any time soon, as this is going to take me a while. Uh, these are the beacons for Lapita, the four, and the other one there at the moment, because of the ice tray thingy for the iron golems, I, I can't put it on the floor like the rest of them. Uh, what I intend to do down here is create a recreation of a regular villager. A regular village that you get up on the real world, like on on the top. So I'll copy their houses, the style. I might even try a village, I don't know, even load up a single player world and just find a village and just copy it straight over exactly how it's laid out the same so I get that right. I'm going for maybe the same theme as Lapita. Um... A squid. Same theme as Lapita, like a mystical kind of fantasy. I want to do as if there's been a, a massive earthquake or something, and the village is like falling underground, and they've still stayed survive deep underground, that kind of thing. Maybe something I could read in a Jules Verne book or something, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Um, they stay straight above me, so I think of using ice uh, and updating carefully and maybe putting a fissure in the sea using the ice to create an artificial like sky going straight and obviously glass and stuff to stop any mobs that might somehow fall straight down because I plan to have villages down here. I'm going to see if I can find a way to move my villager breeder down here. Same again, there's still ocean over here, and maybe have it hidden. Yeah, because this is this ocean here, and then under this bit, there's the cliff on the other side of the hill. So I'm thinking of maybe put my uh, breeder in there, or maybe 70 blocks up. I, I haven't quite figured it all out yet. So basically, I'll have endless villages in here. So if there are zombies that get in, I can very easily turn on the breeder, breed up some more. Uh, the village itself isn't going to be this big. I I'm going to have it. So what I've been... I've been... This will probably change in episodes to come, as I do work bits on this. I've been laying out the slime chunks as they're going to be a problem. As... Anything I put in these chunks, there's the potential of slime. So, for example, this one. I would have liked the centre of the village to be around these beacons. But whatever goes here has to be half slabbed. I can still build something. Just the top of it all has to be the half blocks. And same again over here. Um, I think I'm going to build a village in the centre. And just kind of take it from there. This is going to be a year... Uh, Minimum work. All my uh, slime chunks. My plan for these is 
I've gone around, that one's still encased, but the other two, and there's the one over in that corner. I've dug all the way around carefully. I'm going to turn these off, dig out everything down to the ground, and I'm going to encase them in glass with the water streams, so you can see the slimes moving all the way around, and um, I'll change this up. And have a single free wide. These two. I'll probably redo them all a little bit. They're basically going to just free cactuses. Like. Angled. So they don't hit each other. Uh, oh and I have found out. I don't know if anyone remembers. I know Basil commented. And I think Jack did as well. This one. This farm. Oh careful. Did so the drop rates were so much better than the rest of them um i think it might be something to do with the like east west north west thing in minecraft when i dug all these out there is never ever any slime balls that are here on this farm even though they're identical even the water streams there's regularly when i dug this out the slime balls pop out the back no idea they are both the same I've counted I've so it must be something to do with water streams and north south east west um, it's something I'm going to look into I don't know if that's ever been noted on before for collections anyway so yeah they're going to dig down so first thing will be to do well today we're going to solve our problem with our potatoes and food wise as I've had to go on to steak I don't mind steak but I prefer, prefer potatoes the easier so yeah these all dig down this is going to be a long project and I'm going to mix it with other stuff otherwise it's going to be a little get not to say it's get old but you don't want to do the same thing over and over for three years or for me anyway, it would get a little bit old. Do I have the right pick on? Yes. Right, what I want to do today, uh, this side of the cave, I have no plans for any village. So this is where I want to put some of the more utility items, uh, farms, or that kind of stuff. So what I want, is, ooh, excuse me, is a giant, well not giant, potato farm. We've got this slime chunk here, so this limits the farm. It's going to go... Uh, it's going to be a water one. With the dip down. Start at this corner. And end wherever it ends. Over here. Uh, can't go into this because of the slime chunk. I don't know. It's, it's one of those... I can't remember if they're supposed to be able to spawn on tilled ground. But occasionally I have had creepers... That have been in the middles of wheat fields. So I think for this. So this this, this is, isn't is going to be pretty. It's going to be. You know your bare basic. Actually I want to start then really. Hang on. At the very top don't I. I know I could dig this more out. But I don't really want to. I was getting a little bit close to um, Sneezy's is about another, I think, 100 blocks, 150 blocks. You know, I don't want to completely go underneath his base. So I think there. Hang on. I think this is going to be fun trying to build this on this. Do, do, do. So what I'm going to have is them. Um... There's always two ways of having the water come out. You can either use pistons with water behind those pistons. Or you can use dispensers. I've always been a fan of dispensers myself. Um, I don't know if there's any difference in lag. But I find dispensers fired off uh, with repeaters with a little bit of a tick between each one. They don't, it, they don't seem to be as that, you know, that initial lag spike. Right, is that? So what I'm going to do is go one in. 
so I can put a wall at the side and I shouldn't touch that chunk or hopefully shouldn't anyway so that there I do I'm going to line the bottom of this in uh, stone brick and then have dirt on the top so oh come on these will be here I'm going to have uh, pumpkin lighting every now and then for the underneath. Oh, do I have any more? Um, ooh, let me go and get some more. And you're going to have pumpkin lighting every now and then. Uh, water goes every... Is it it? Uh, four blocks out, isn't it? For um, the water being... Oh, what do you call it? Um, you know what I mean, so it doesn't go doesn't go dry. God, today's been a bad day for words. <laughs> I can't think of the word I want. Um, saturated, dry. Yeah, you know what I mean. Four blocks, so I'm going to have water. I wonder what's the best way to do this. Whether to have it in the middle. One, two, three. So we could have water there. One. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Water there. One, two, four. So these two would need something. All right. So let's do it the other way. One, two, three, four. I need water. One. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Hang on, let's double check that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Counting with Pygon. One, two, three, four. And then I could put water down that side. I'm going to have water, it'll be in a channel in the middle. And then there will be half slabs over the top. And I'll take that one out, as it won't be needed. And that way, and then I'm going to have the top. So with the half slabs, that keeps the water from getting disturbed. And then I can then sprint all over and up and down the half slabs. And I won't remove any of the crops. So then these will go, is it seven, isn't it? Because obviously the, the, the soil will go here. Three... Four, five, six, seven. And then it'll go down one. And then soil on top. So I think to save any more counting with Pygon, I'm going to fill this little bit in off camera. Right, that's the brick outer layer put in. So this is more utilitarian. Uh, this will probably never be seen. Uh, as whatever I put here and next to it and I might do from my drop down shaft I might do a little corridor or something you know leading over to the like collection area here so it's looking nice but it's it's not going to be that smart uh, so this should all work there's just to put the dirt you know on top of this and then all the way down, then the lighting. But let's have... I could regret this with the torches. Let's make sure I haven't got this wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's going all the way. Going all the way. Yeah. Right. Now to put all this dirt on top. Right now to put in the half slaps between levels so I can easily get up and down when I'm replanting and I don't hurt any of the crops. And it would appear I have slightly miscounted where these half slabs go. There you go. And please I tested that before I put them in. 
they go on this one. Hang on. Make sure I've got that right. Hang on. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, that, that one. That one. Right. Now to get these in. Right, that's these sl slabs in. Now for the water. So it's one, two, three, four. And because I hate running water, uh, these will be source blocks, every single one. That's the water. Now for the uh, half slabs that will go in the middle to stop this water from becoming a pain. Right, now time to put the lights in. I don't know how all these clips are going to work out as I suddenly had a phone call halfway through. Right, that's all the pumpkins in. I think it looks alright. Looks almost like a Halloween kind of thing with all these faces on. Uh, block light should be fine. I'm looking in the top left. Uh, on the very bottom, second line up where it says light. I'm looking to the far right where it says block light. Anything seven or below will spawn mobs. And I've been all up and down. The lowest it gets to is nine. So we should be pretty good here. Uh, before I plant everything, now to do the redstone. Actually, before I put the redstone in, I want to do the collection first. So this is just pure luck. I was going to have one chest. But we can have two chests for the collection. So we want hopper into that one. Then that one, and basically once the bottom one's full, it will fill up to that one. We now want the hoppers to run across. And I'm hoping, oh, I have enough hoppers. And I'm going to be short. Bugger. I can make another one off camera. So the water should go right up to this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. So let's block this off. Oh, um, ah, 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 slap. There we go. That, so the chest will still open. Put this here. Um, actually, what might be better? I'm trying to think of ease of me getting in. I do have slabs here, so this will stop the water. Hang on. When I could do stairs, we have a quick look. What would stairs stairs look like? I think I would need more than that. Not you and you. Let's have a look. So I can get in and out to uh, replant. And then on the bottom here. And then I could have like a corridor. Going. Ooh. Right. You get the idea. Right. On to the redstone this time. Right. That is the redstone done. I have no idea where I left off that last little clip. Sorry about that. It's been about six, seven hours for me being up to uh, other stuff on the server. So basically, button, the redstone goes all the way to the back. Simple torch tower. And then it connects to the dispensers at the back. Uh, I might fit in a timer and a flip-flop thing with Jiggy. So you basically hit the tip button once. The water comes out. And then maybe after a minute or two, it would automatically turn off. For the moment, it's manual. So once everything's planted, you hit the button. 
Go and make a cup of tea. Wait for everything to flow down. Turn it off. Grab your potatoes and replant. Did I press it again? Yeah, here it goes. At the moment, I raided my potato emporium chest to get... I don't think that's going to be enough potatoes, but enough to get this going. So now, time to give this hoe a good going over. Right, that's everything planted up. And I'm going to wait. This is late on Sunday night. I think I'm going to finish off the episode probably on Monday when all of this has had chance to grow and see how many potatoes we get. And here we are, Monday night for me. It's been a bit of a busy day today, but I've been able to spend, I think it's taken about two hours all in all for every single potato to grow. Now for the moment of truth. And uh, apologies to anyone if this may be slightly laggy for the next uh, minute. Oh, doesn't feel too bad lag-wise. I must admit that looks rather glorious. Look at that. I think there was so much there, I don't think I got any sound. <laughs> <laughs> whatsoever look at all the potatoes I'm gonna run this for a little bit and uh, see you when it's finished so there we are that's a full harvest obviously I've got to replant I think it took nine stacks before to replant those are poisonous ones that's not that's not too bad is it for one harvest it's a lot better than what I get out of the normal potato emporium. Uh, one problem I did notice, I've, I've actually done a similar design to this before in my single player, and it never used to happen. The water uh, flows over the top, and the potatoes are getting stuck on there as the water flows over the top. I've never had that before. Uh, I think to solve it, I can run a chain of hoppers underneath, and because these are the half slabs, uh, the hoppers will uh, pick up through them. So yeah, I've never had that problem before, but that's something new. Anyway, this has been a very funny recording for me, as I've had quite a few different things in between, so sorry if it's been a little bit uh, choppy here and there. Hopefully it all made sense with the Potato and Porium 2.0. My potato needs are now solved. Thanks very much guys for watching. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next. Oh, 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 before you turn away, remember we have the competition still to design the village town hall. If you are a member on the server, I'll put the link in the description below this video. Thanks very much, guys. See ya.